Avocados are doing good. We got four inches of rain in the past eh, 48 hours. As you can see, the uh, creek bed put in the avocado grove is working great. It's probably at its capacity. It's just about to bust over into the mulch, but overall, it's working great. This is not getting really soggy. It used to get kind of soggy back here. It's pretty cool. Huh, let's cross over. It's the first little break in the rain we've gotten. And obviously I've delayed all the avocado irrigation for a bit. Come on, this way. The pine tree's not that interesting, come on. So that was one concern with these things. In this rainy season, we get all this rain, this, oggy, this area gets very soggy. And so that's kind of why I tried to slope it down to this edge right here. And even that tree was struggling there, and it looks like it's doing pretty well. So, yeah, right here it looks like I, I might need to do a little, a little work. Something's clogging it up. Well, there it is. Bunch of leaves. Wait for me. Wait for me, babies. There you go. And even, and even still, I mean, it didn't didn't really cause any erosion it was just kind of getting that stuff wet so it looks like I got a little more leaves to clean up out there too but uh, looking pretty nice and I got just these these avocados aren't really bearing much fruit yet but I do have um, a couple I'll show you where they're at come on yes that smells great you can go over the log or we can just jump it let's go was good. Yeah, that one's struggling a bit. That one took some of the hit from the freeze, but not bad. I mean, this is one of the few fry, pr prized fruit I got. This is a lamb hoss. Probably going to be the first actual edible fruit after probably right around the one year mark so doing pretty good in the big rain the historic flooding 